So finishing up with this, basically allowing also in validating the self is to be a new audience who can let someone feel heard in their own voice, even sometimes for the first time. So I'm valid even if I don't have anything to say, even if I can't relate to them, even if I'm just a good ear, just a good listener. Also, I'm allowed to take breaths when I need them, so I'm valid even if I need to pause, stop listening mentally for a second, center with myself, release the pressure. Asking questions is a way to take the effort off of me too, so I'm valid even if I don't want to share about myself, if I feel pressured. I'm valid even if I want to ask the other person to be the one who's contributing and being the, in the limelight. I can also have tidbits that are impersonal. I don't need their permission to talk about the things that keep pressure on or off me, um, if that makes me feel comfortable. So I'm valid even if I use small talk, even if I say things that I don't care too much about, don't really reflect the real me, but are a big deal in terms of like, um, you know, uh, keeping a conversation flowing. So finally, I'm going to finish with a practice, which is what are my prioritized values? We talked about anxiety and doubts in the self, um, validating the self, and valid because it goes with my values. So it's valid because it sits on my values because my values, and I'll just read them through, um, is enjoying my own company and aura. It's hard work, progress, productive and enduring. It's also, <coughs> excuse me, compassion, support, connection and belonging. Another value is my relationship with God, my creator. Um, another is enjoying and bonding with my biological family. You know, why I'm willing to put myself in these situations at all. It is utilizing repressed energy and unclaimed baggage in a recycled way for personal development and then also influencing others to become whole. So it's doing this work knowing that the work itself will speak to people even if I don't have to do or say anything. I'm not here always to fix others but just being with myself even in difficult moments is much more valuable than trying to be valuable in the moment if that makes sense. Um, respecting differences and angles, which means like viewpoints or positions. Peace and quiet, calm and relief. Didn't always have those values. And finally, uh, emotional health, stable mind, foundation, physical strength. So in other words, balance in all areas. And, you know, in terms of spiritual well-being, it's being able to handle paradox, right? And I'm going to speak more about that probably tomorrow. So uh, thank you for spending time with me. Um, actually, I won't be seeing it tomorrow. Tomorrow is the Sabbath for, uh, I'm recording this video for Friday. So I'll be talking about that after the weekend, after the Sabbath. Be well.